Hello everybody, it's Arranged Karma here, and we're back with more XCOM. So as you remember, we last left off with a abduction in Voronezh, Voronezh, Russia. So, let's get that underway. Now, who have we got available? Well, we're not going to use any of these guys, because, well, <laughs> well that one's a damaged, but injured, but I'm not going to use any of the, uh, you know, ones that have got classes just because it's a lot easier to get these guys all promoted now so XCOM isn't as brittle when if I lose my squad so gonna get a bunch of oh actually no I'm not gonna get use you I'm gonna use you <laughs> British pride so here's our selection of rookies and as you can see we got a bunch of grenades oh a med kit that's gonna be coming handy a lot of AP grenades though well, because if you don't know, AP grenades are grenades that um, damage units that are out of cover, so... It's probably going to be a lot easier to get rid of those, but... Uh. Alien activity continues to surge within several major cities. Our response is crucial to minimizing the spread of panic. Right, let's get this done. Oh, got contact already. Two squads, I think. Yep. No, th yeah, so it's six people. Oh, cool, six aliens. Right. Well. Oh, god, camera, what are you doing? Okay. Well, our biggest problem is this dude right here, because he's got flanking shot on most of my guys, so... gonna move you around here so you can take over there still have a shot on a bunch of them and my squad can move into different positions as well not flanked here so uh, what can we got shit I'm gonna try hang on there's another one back over there as well uh, I'm gonna take a shot at this one. Oh wow good start good start right Next. Do you have a shot here? Commander. You do. On the drone? Yep, take it. Come on. Yeah! Wow. I'm pleasantly surprised. <laughs> These guys are all rookies, remember? Oh, shit. <laughs> I've made a rookie mistake. Huh. Do you have a shot on that guy from here? Nope. Well, if that's the case, I'm going to move you here. I don't know why I didn't expect that. <laughs> now there's even more problems. Uh, let's just put him on Overwatch. Is this our last guy? Yep. Yeah. We're going to have to move him into a pretty good position over here. I'm fearing for the worst. Hmm. I'm not too worried about these guys. I'm worried about the guys on my flank. Those ones are probably going to be the more lethal. Because a lot of our guys are in... That was a close one. Because a lot of our guys are in heavy cover facing those few, so... Those guys have got enough, uh, more than a few flanking shots to some of my guys, so... But as we saw there, that buffed one missed the flanking shot, so... That one didn't, though. It's okay, he's not panicked and he's not dead, so that's a good... It's <laughs> a good sign. I'm not sure these guys have actually any shots. Oh. I thought, well, I, they have a shot on that guy, but... It's a bit of a long range, so I doubt they're gonna hit. <sighs> well, I hope. Okay, so, not a bad first turn. There's the meld, as you can see in there. The f pseudo fog of war. Alright. First things first. You. Don't go there. Oh wait, maybe, maybe, maybe. Maybe. Yep. 
Do you have a shot? Not a very good one. Worth taking. Wow. RN Jesus is with me today, ladies and gentlemen. 30% are all hitting. Uh, right. Is there any better cover? There is. Perfect. What have you got shot on? Him? I want to try and take out this guy, if we can. Oh my god! This is, I haven't done anything to the settings, just just an FYI. Like, I haven't changed anything around. This is still the game where I lost two guys on the first mission. So... Ah, oh boy. Only 24%? Uh, let's move you over here, then. Already there. Give you some better shots than that guy and some of the other guys down there. You had a flanking shot on somebody as well, so... Can you actually get a shot from here? No. Alright, move into his old cover spot. Seems to be lucky. <laughs> as for you... Apparently there's full cover there and it's not flanked, which is kind of odd. Huh. Put him over there. Don't want to get him too close, just in case. Seems to be a lot of them clustered back here. I would, I'm tempted to use a frag, but I don't want to say I want to get as much, you know, alloys and relics and stuff as we can. So, They're on the move. incoming over here. That's close shot. It's great because, like, you know, even if you have like an, even like, even if you miss, the shot looks like it's gonna hit, even like because it goes sort of near it, which is kind of hilarious. It's like, oh, you have like a 1% chance, but the actual bullets like land near the target, and it's like, oh, well, close enough, right? That's the first Psy attack they've used that's actually successful. Oh, you're done for. Good. You're done for. Right. See, if I had enough... Uh, hmm. Try and take a shot on him. Nope. What can you hit? Him for 37. Worth a try. Wow. Let's move you up closer. Forty percent chance on that guy? Yeah, worth it. Ah, oh, come on. Move you into heavy cover. Another 40%, can you hit it? You can, awesome. Going good so far. That one had to reload. Alright. Oh, that was a meld then for a second. Hmm. Meld isn't too much of a priority right now. If we find some, it'd be great, but... Right now, I just want to focus on getting these aliens killed. Because I get the feeling these are the last ones. Could be wrong, though. <sighs> Time for another risky maneuver. Do we have anybody else around? No. Well, just put shots on him then. Keep the pressure on him. I feel like that... <coughs> excuse me. That even if this alien does fall back and hit that guy, he's got enough health and armor to withstand it, unless it's a crit. 
And even if it is a crit, it might not kill him. Oh, well, he's not even going to shoot that guy. Okay. Surprising. And since you didn't shoot him, let's go up and fucking execute him with your assault rifle pistol. It's <laughs> crit too. All right, Operation Soaring God in Voroznezd, Russia. Nine kills, no losses, and only one injury. Hmm, pretty good. These recruits are shaping up. Ah, so now you can see we've got plenty of stuff to choose from. So, from first class Lakshmi Duta, excuse for the pronunciation, we got Gunner, so we can either have Heavy or a Rocketeer. I'm going to use Suppression. Just because it seems more useful right now, because I don't want to use too ma any too many explosives. So this guy, Min Jun Kim, who's tactical, we can either go for Light Him Up or Run and Gun. So... So let him up is, uh, you know, if you take a shot first thing, if your first action doesn't use up your entire turn, and running gun is obviously allows you to move uh, in dashing and still fire and whatnot. So we're going to go for that, because that seems more useful. So he's going to be the up close and personal kind of guy. We've already got a scout, so we're going to have a sniper. The tactical, so he's going to be the light him up the guy then. Which is, he's so he's infantry, and that guy was something else. I didn't see it at the end. Because it says up here, I've only just noticed. Uh, so we've already got a medic. So we can either go random or grenadier. I think I'm going to play it safe and go for a second medic. Because you can never have enough medics. Like, seriously. Because you never know when shit's going to go AWOL. Or, well, FUBAR as well. But, you know. Right. Nothing else to do right now? Uh, actually, can we... What can we actually build from the get-go? That's what I want to know. Um... Workshop, laboratory, satellite, fission generator, I'm already building that. A foundry repair bay. Oh, okay, so this is basically like um, a new system in Long War is that in combat, items can get damaged and they need to be repaired. So we'll build that soon. We just need the power. And the foundry is obviously where you build upgrades and whatnot, and that's the thermal generator that you put on uh, steam vents, but you need more cash for it and everything. So we don't actually have an officer training school yet. So, Right, what can we actually build... Physical objects. A sawn off shotgun, which is basically the shotgun pistol, and a shiv. Hmm. We could. But I think I want to promote my guys first, because a shiv can be useful, but I'd rather just get some boots on the ground rather than treads on the ground. Right. Since that mission was kind of short, we're going to follow it up with a second one if we find it, and then we're going to end it there. Ooh, a new request from France. Hang on, let's check that out, shall we? Uh, situation room. Well, the uh, transfer request for s for India for a satellite is still, you know, all around. And what have we got for France? A satellite as well. Hmm. Engineering. Shut up, Valen. Uh, we, so we need four hundred dollars if we wish to complete that credits or whatever. So we can't complete that. All right, there's the generator done. So can we build anything right now? Oh, didn't mean to do that, but, you know, so useful. Or repair bay. Yeah, we'll get that now. Just in case I forget or something. Ten days? <laughs> right. Still got ten days on the first research tech, so... Lots of our guys are now returning to... Ooh, hello. Commander, we're tracking several Ooh, we're going to Mexico City now. I've got the Another... Small panic. Right. Again, same deal. We're going to go with... Some new recruits to get them promoted. Get them a bit of combat experience. Uh, ooh, is that Scottish? Yes, we are. Another Scottish. We got an American. Oh, God. So many nationalities. Wow. I'm going to go for Daniel Wilson. <sighs> So, to Mexico City we go, then. Let's do this. Ooh, we're on the highway. This one's alright. It's a bit of, There's a little bit of verticality to it, which can be a bit of annoying, but, you know. 
on us to secure the area. Let's do this. This is Big Sky. Team is ready hmm. to go. Requesting authorization to deploy. Solid copy, Big Sky. Let's move these guys up. Alright, already got contact, just sectoid it seems. So they're scrambling. I've never understood that. Like, I don't see why, like, whenever you meet aliens, like, in, in all versions of the game, whenever you first have contact with the aliens, like, they always get a free turn to move around and get into cover. Like, I understand it, I understand why, because otherwise, you know, they'd be standing around in the open and be like a turkey shoot. But it seems kind of unfair to me, because, like, you know, because you, they get a chance to react and you don't. Like, because XCOM, like, seems a game to me where, like, it's hard, but it's fair. You know what I mean? Like, obviously, yes, early game, there can be some, you know, kind of stacked against you, but you you have a strong chance to win if you know what you're doing, whereas they just get free turns, and it's kind of irritating. Anyway, rant over, I guess. Put you there, since we have nowhere else to put you. He's got four health, holy shit. <laughs> One shot, and he's dead. Jesus Christ, dude, come on. You're a man. Be a man. You must be swift as a coursing river. With all the force of a great typhoon. Well, the strength of a raging fire, and mysterious as the dark side of the moon. Come on. Right, so as we can see by the link... Ooh, he's on Overwatch. Hmm. If we move there, we get a flanking shot, but it'll be revealed, so... Worth the risk? Yeah, she's got the health for it. It's two of them on Overwatch. Yeah, no hits. Great. Alright, let's take him out. If we can. Thank you very much. Right, now that he's down, we can start moving our guys up. Who do we got shots on? 36 and 36. Uh, let's take a shot on him. Continuing our luck, I see, from last game. Well, last, last mission from where everybody's still hitting really, really low sh chance shots. I mean, I'm not complaining, but... Oh my god! Jesus. Do, they, do these guys have aimbot or something? Ugh. More sectoids. I wonder, like, since they're down there and our guys are up here, do we have a defense advantage? I wonder. Because I know you would do on the on the uh, de on the uh, vanilla sniper tree where you can get a skill that gives them bonuses based on like height advantage, but hmm. I'm just going to assume so. The aliens making their move. I get the feeling we're going to run into one more squad of sectoids before the mission is over. I don't think this is it. I'll be very surprised if it is. They've moved into an area we can't see. Which means we're gonna have to move this guy up. Oh, Overwatch. Both of them. Oh no. Well, that didn't go well. <sighs> I thought we were gonna do this without casualties, but, you know. Let's throw a flashbang grenade at these guys. Can we hit all three of them? No, we can only hit those two. That's fine. Nice. Hmm. Since that alien's taking over there, we should have pretty good flanking shots on him. He's dead. Let's avenge that guy, shall we? I think his name was Yakov Abramovich or something like that. Moving out. Could be wrong though. <laughs> well, I know this is kind of morbid to say, but at least it was a rookie. You know, it wasn't like a s somebody who was already in a class, so wasn't as important. We've got plenty of soldiers in the barracks, but you know, losing somebody still isn't good. Would this be a flanking shot? Well, there's only one way to find out, isn't there? 
You know, if something's stupid but it works, it ain't stupid. Okay, you missed the 63% chance to hit. I mean... So yeah, as you can see, we get aim bonuses because we're above them, if you saw there, because of the uh, chance to hit, which is kind of nice. Yes, Commander. Maybe flanked, but we have a high chance to hit. So, ooh, very close. And besides, I think, I'm not sure how long the disorientation lasts, but it should be long enough that she doesn't get hit. I mean, I should hope so. And that was, of course, assuming that the alien lived, to tell the tale. So, as you can probably guess, the last group's going to be on the other side of the uh, overpass, or highway, or whatever. Since we're all just camped here, we might as well reload while we have the chance. I'm ready. Back online. Rack -tap bang. Oh, yes. Everyone's all reloaded and ready to proceed. Yeah, we know where they are, we were just reloading. Still can't believe we lost a man. It was crazy because like the bo both overwatches actually hit him, which is pretty insane. So since there's a ramp, we can't actually see up that, so... Gonna gather my guys close to it as I can. Ooh, excuse me, squeaky chat. And just put them on overwatch in case they decide to come strolling. Funny thing is, they can't actually drop down this area, so we have to go all the way around. Can she make it? She can, okay. Out. We're gonna have somebody go over this side as well. Usually it'd be three on each side, but since we're down a man, it's gonna be two, two one side and three the other. Oh, hello, there they are. They haven't spotted us, but we saw them, so... What we're gonna do... Is gather them up here, because there's stuff in the way. And we're gonna push in next turn with full movement. Because then, you know, we'll be able to get to the best positions we can. I hate how eerily quiet it is. It's very unnerving. Yes, sir. Did I move him up too high? Nope, okay. Uh, now it's just you. Double time. Right, now we end the turn. Alright, here we go. Alright, eyes on. Here we go. See, this is a good strategy, because they always move to counter that that uh, person. But since the rest of the squad is also here, let's put a shot out. See if we can... Two damage? Okay, that's fine. But now, they've done fucked up. Because now the rest of the squad can move in and get flanking shots on all of them. Five damage. And now this side moves up to clean up the rest. Done and done. Hmm. That one operative. Hey, I know, this is war, it happens, but you know, it doesn't make it any better, does it? it doesn't make me feel any better about it. Okay, so we've got some promotions going on. We got weapons, so. We've already got a gunner, so we're going to go for a rocketeer. Just so we can get, you know, 
a good selection of classes. So we're going to go, since we've got both of these, let's go for a random subclass, see what we get. Ooh, a medic? Well, <laughs> alright then. Another one of these, so uh, let's go for a running gun. That's always useful. Right. Oh, it was Yakov Abashev. There we go. Covered some meld, weapon fragments, and some sectoid corpses. Now, before we end the episode, let's go to the barracks. Pay our respects, shall we? Private First Class Rambir Gadaha. Two kills, one mission. Was killed by a sectoid. Private First Class William Hughes. No kills, first mission. Plaza uh, by a sectoid. And Private First Class Yakov Abrashev. No kills, first mission. A, a sectoid. Hopefully, by the end of the game, by the end of my run, sorry, this will have not have changed. There'll be no more names placed upon here, but I sincerely doubt that'll be the case. So, let's check out the situation room. So, as this is how they are, everything's looking pretty good. Ooh, hang on. We've got another request as well from Canada. Satellite transfer. Jesus. So, alright, ladies and gentlemen, thank you very much for watching. Next time, we'll find another mission, do some more groundwork, and kick these aliens off our planet. Thank you very much for watching, and I'll see you next time.